Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another 7-box Jaspies All-Star Baseball Mixer. Random team number 3. A lot of nice stuff here, including a Jaspies exclusive Hit Parade product. Uh, two big boxes. right? Memorabilia, all memorabilia. If there's a team on it or a date that's inscribed there that identifies the team or something like that, it'll go to that team. If, there's, if it's like a baseball with no team identification on it, and if it's a player that's active, they'll go to the team they're currently on. If they're not active, it'll go to the place that they played the longest, according to baseballreference.com. Big thanks to this group right here. And congrats again to the people who won their spots in the filler. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a one, seven times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. We got Eugene down to John after seven. And six and a one, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got Baltimore down to my Dodgers. All right, big thanks to this group right here for getting in on it. There's the first half of the list, second half of the list, no trade windows. And let's just print and rip. And then we'll re-randomize that list, as most of you know by now. The top eight will get spots in that, in that mixer that's right over my shoulder here. Yeah, that's interesting, Tanya. I might have to try that. See how long I could last in a dry county. Did I bring a blaster box here? Or no, I didn't do the mixer right now. I already did the blaster box. All right. I guess no trade. Is anyone gonna trade? Sorry, there should be a trade window in this. Let me know if you want to trade. I'll put the boxes on top here. Just went too fast. James isn't going to trade. Carl, are you going to trade? You've got the next most teams, I think. Or you might have the most teams, or John might have the most teams. John Jackson, are you going to trade? You got the A's again. Excellent. This time we'll hit with the A's. Dan, no, I don't think there were any A's last time. I brought the Obsidian case, too. That's in the next video. No, let's roll. Love it. Let's roll indeed. So there are the two boxes of draft, the three, the three boxes of finest, and these two giant boxes right here we'll do at the end. That's where all the fun memorabilia is. All right. So that less that list 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 remains the same. <laughs> James, I'm a professional. Come on. Come on now.
Ah, the Conseco helmet, right. The, that Conseco helmet probably was a bowl of, of, of the marching powder back in the day. Although the 80s A's was more of a steroid locker room, was it not? I feel like it would be the 80s Mets that would be more of the, the, the cocaine locker room. No? You think all, all, in all, all in all locker rooms? In the 80s or still, you think? You know, who was it Tim Raines, I think? There was an old story, I don't know if it's true or not, but Tim Raines used to say, I think it was Tim Raines, he used to say he would slide, he would slide head first a lot of the times or when he would slide head first, it was because he had vials of coke in his back pocket. I mean, apparently the force of his slide could, could damage them. He was con concerned enough where he would dive head first. I don't know. Uh, Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what the. Uh, well, I think you can end up breaking those, which is well, at least that was his concern. That's what I read anyway. I've, but yeah, Tim Raines would, would dive in would dive in head first. That was the that that could be an apocryphal story, could be legend. But that, that's what he said. That's why James dives in at first. There's Rain Don to 150. They go, there's Jacob Mizorowski to 75. That'll be for the Brewers. Jackson Holiday for the Orioles. That'll be for Eugene, who got randomized the Orioles. Nice. There's Elijah Green for John Jackson and the Nationals. Daryl Strawberry loved the strawberry. Among other things, I think he was also a fan of the, uh, the Colombian marching powder. I think, unfortunately... I think fortunately for Strawberry, I think he was able to kick the habit. I think, uh, ooh, nice Ellie Dela Cruz. Uh, but I think uh, this Ellie Dela Cruz goes to the Reds. That'll be for Carl. I think Doc Gooden still has an issue with it. That's for Carl and the Reds. Elijah Green will go to John and the Nationals. He's pretty good too. James P., James with a Y, thinks that marijuana should be legal and should be able to smoke in the dugout. I don't know about that. I mean, it is pretty much legal in most states. Eventually, it will be in all states. But I don't know. I mean, I don't want them drinking in the dugout. Marijuana is kind of the same thing, right? Another one of these boxes. Okay. 
Right, that's that's how I kind of look at it, Dano. In terms of that. I mean, don't don't use marijuana and drive. Don't drink and drive. I think that's pretty pretty much the same thing. In my opinion, I mean, that's just the way I see it. I suppose, I suppose if a player wanted to, they could eat edibles, I guess. Would a player want to? Would that not... I don't know. I guess, I guess some players run hot. You know, they've got a lot of they got a lot of anxiety. I'm not sure if it'd be a big help in hand-eye coordination, though. Even with the oh, I mean, even with either you know strains of the marijuana, whether it's sativa or indica, one or the other. I mean, if anything, that's why ball players were doing like speed in the 70s, right? Greenies in the 70s, I think. They still might, I don't know. But. So, <laughs> who knows? Hey, easy there, Duncan. Family show. Don't incriminate yourself across international lines. Joe Esquire, Joe Jaspi Esquire, uh, does not know, not familiar with, with the laws of Australia. So I will not be able to give you any legal advice. Joe, Jas Joe Jaspi Esquire for the United States. For entertainment purposes only, ladies and gentlemen. Not actual legal advice. Just like Joe, just like Joe Wall Street, Joe Justice, Joe Esquire, Joe Wall Street. Uh, Joe, Joe Pro Gambler. <laughs> All entertainment purposes only. We're just having fun here, folks. Wow, this is fun. 34 out of 250, Bowman First, first edition, purple, chrome, Jackson Holiday on card autograph. Holiday, if we took a holiday in international waters, it would be, it would be so nice. Do, 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 boom, 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 boom. Nice, that's your first overall pick, Eugene. Got a spot straight up, got randomized the Orioles, rewarded with the Jackson Holiday autograph out of 2022 Bowman Draft First Edition. Logan Tanner for the Reds. Congrats, Eugene. I don't know if Eugene's even, where, where should we stalk where Eugene is in the world? Maybe he fell asleep. Oh, he's in New York. He might be asleep. Good morning, Eugene. <laughs> Congrats to you. You might be watching the video in the morning. Dylan Beavers. Uh, yellow parallel to 75. I feel like the O's have been getting some nice stuff today. Cutter Coffee to 50 for the Red Sox. Unless Eugene fell asleep with the uh, with the computer on. Eugene, wake up! Now I'm in his dream, like Inception. He's gonna be dreaming that Jackson Holiday came to his house and took him to a ball game. 
played catch with Jackson Holiday or something like that. Said, Joe, I had a weirdest dream last night. I was having a catch with Jackson Holiday. You know, just in we we're just in Camden Yards and just throwing the ball back and forth, you know. And then I woke up. And then I watched the video. It's Don Cohn for the Dodgers. Did a lot of you know when we first moved into this shop, James? Here's uh, Jacob Marcy to 150. Some of our neighbors who we are not friends with <laughs> thought that, that they were like, this has got to be a money laundering operation for some drug cartel. No way this is a legit business. There's Austin Hendrick to 75. All right, finest time. Still, yeah. So. That's a joke, feds, if you're watching. This is not, this is a legitimate operation. All this talk is for entertainment purposes only. It's just for the content, FBI. Relax. You know, DEA, ATF, easy. Just, just, just for content, you know? Just for entertainment purposes only. Just trying to develop, just, just, just trying to, trying to develop, develop, deliver some laughs, that's all. Chill out. Yeah, <laughs> just a bit of bents, you know? Just top, top bents, mate. Top fence. It's well, it's not that late. It's 10.30 on the, not late for me anyway. 10.30 on the West Coast. A little bit later for the East Coasters. Is it, how, how late is it for everybody? James O, how late is it for you? Oh, James, it's not that late for James. James is fine. For the East Coasters, it's probably, I don't know if anybody from the, from the Middle Coast or East Coast, how late it is. Oh, Dano's still up. We got Adley Rushman to 199. He's having a nice season, all-star. Eugene. Al Mitchell at 300. Just some top bents, lads. Some top bents. Gunnar Henderson to 250. Max Meyer autograph for Carl and the Fish. I want to go marlin fishing. Who's gone marlin fishing? Hand up if, you, uh, if you've been marlin fishing. I want to do that someday. Here's a Christopher Morell, rookies to 25 for John and the Cubs. Nolan Gorman to 175, Aqua Shimmer. Corbin Carroll for Carl and the Diamondbacks. <laughs> James went many moons ago and Ma Mazatlan. Dano would like to, but no. Should there be a Jaspi Marlin fishing trip, ladies and gentlemen? We'll just charter a nice boat. We'll all meet up and in the Keys, we'll charter a boat. I think they'll rent us all the other gear, right? Go catch ourselves a marlin or two. 
and then take it to a place on the, uh, I think they have places where there'll be like restaurants, like right on the dock or the shore or something like that, where you can take it to the chef in the back and they'll grill it right up for you. We'll chop it up for you, grill up some dinner for you. You can eat some marlin and then uh, you take the rest home, I think. Can you, I, can you check food? Any hunters out there that hunt for a wild game and then take the meat home? How do you do that? Do you check it in on the airplane? It can't be carry-on. You gotta be able to check it in. Maybe some dry ice situation. Duncan went on a charter, Thailand for tuna and did that. Incredible times, sounds like it. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds awesome. But I don't want to go on one of those shady charters. Every once in a while you hear a story of like, yeah, this, this, this old guy with his charter boat hadn't touched, uh, you know, hadn't fixed his engine in decades and capsized and... See, you drove, but I, what, what, what about the flying situation? Mazalan, they cooked it at the re and then everyone ate it. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I were to like... I had some friends who were hunters growing up. Yes, there is hunting people who hunt in California, but they drove too, I think. I think there must be a way to mail it or check it and overnight it with some dry ice or something like that. There's Ken Waldachuk to, to 50. There's probably gonna be hunters watching this video right now going, come on, man, it's easy, you do it this way. And they're like, what a, what, what an idiot. Come on, Joe. Everyone knows you do it this way. As Luis Castillo is just, he's just part of the coastal elites. Doesn't know about hunting. I don't. Alex Call, rookie auto for the Nationals. That'll be for John Jackson. But everyone's not going to eat a marlin, right? It's big. It's big. I guess unless I sell it to the restaurant, I guess. Nice Corbin Carroll refractor for Carl. Maybe that's the way I'd have to do it. Be a man of the people and say, hey, listen, you guys take it. I was just here for the sport. There's Vinny Pascatino to 125. Just as long as it isn't some sad Marlin situation like like in the old man in the sea by Hemingway I remember that what a bummer There's Shane McClanahan to 175 And Jordan Walker for the Cardinals James All right, last of the boxes, and then we jump into the memorabilia. That's that's the meat of this break. Although some of the cards we popped here are pretty nice. But this is the meat of the break. Thanks everyone for getting in. We're done for the night. After this and the Obsidian basketball break, which actually doesn't take very long. There's some really nice potential in there as well.
This is one of those breaks that doesn't feel long. Hey, yeah, no worries, James. Appreciate hey, as long as I have a little company in the chat to uh, to converse my way through it. I'm, I'm always happy about that. But this is one of those breaks that doesn't feel long just because it's just like individual memorabilia bits. But then you look at the break time, you're like, oh, why did it take so long? It's one of those breaks that don't feel long. There are some breaks that are short that feel long. Wander Franco, and then there's Jeter Downs, former Dodger prospect. He was involved in the Mookie Betts trade, washed out of the Red Sox. Maybe he can find some new life with the Nationals. That goes to John Jackson. There's a refractor Masataka Yoshida for Boston. That'll be for Brian. There's Oscar Gonzalez. Cleveland, this is for you. Nicole with the Cleveland Guardians. Got Oswaldo Cabrera. Not to be confused with Oswald Peraza. To 125, Green Speckle. Another Corbin Carroll. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, now, the memorabilia. All right, all right, all right. So here is box seven of 10. You can see on my face camera right there. I'm gonna set that aside over here. And we're gonna do box three of 10. I just kind of randomly grabbed these boxes from the back. But hopefully you can see that. All right. A weird angle here. You know, they used to be uh, black pouches, but I think we've got more of a navy blue color here, which I like. That's a full-size helmet, a baseball, something else. This is, there's usually, so the pattern seems to be mini helmet, larger size helmet, autographed baseball, a jersey, this is the jersey, and something else. Nothing else in there. This feels like a photo or a postcard or... Oh, wow. That's awesome, look at this. A Hall of Fame silver coin, Ted Williams. There, that's his facsimile autograph. There's his auto right there, I think. That's his real auto, right? Was personally signed by Ted Williams, yeah. That's awesome. This is the kind of old school memorabilia. You just don't see stuff like this anymore. Yeah, nothing else inside here. Wish there was a. Wish they had put it in a plastic bag or something like that, which I do not have any of at the moment, but I'll leave it in this pouch right here. I will actually not use a post it note. I'll just use this filler card here. Red Sox, that's going to be for Brian K.
All right, now we'll actually use, use this box as the hits back in here. It'll be easier for our sorting and shipping team. All right, nice. Jersey. We got we got Cubs. Who is that? That'll be for John Jackson and the Cubbies. Uh, the Beckett Six right there. It's Christopher Morell. And doesn't have an MLB logo on the back, so my guess is that this is gonna be a um <coughs> excuse me. A uh, replica jersey, not an officially licensed jersey. John Jackson won that spot in the filler. I randomized the cut. I'm sorry, Rex. Rex had the Cubs in break one. No Cubs in break one, Cubs in break two and three. Mini helmet. Is a Yankee. The names on the sticker were my thumbs covering. Any guesses on this auto? It's another Yankee for John Jackson. Yep, that's Reggie Jackson. You can see it on the sticker right there. Mr. October. I admit, I, I, I saw Bernie Williams on there first, and then I was like, no, that's Reggie Jackson. Mr. October for John Jackson as the Yankees. Let's go baseball. So the baseball may not have a team affiliation on here. So this is where that rule we talked about at the beginning of the break comes in. Now, I actually don't know. Didn't he, this guy play for? Oh, no. I'm thinking of Molitor, maybe. This is an easy one. Yeah, no team affiliation here. Was he Brewers his entire career or most of his career? Molitor played for Brewers and Blue Jays, right? Yeah, Yount played his entire career with the Brewers, so in 74 to 93. Carl and the Brewers. You got the authenticity stuff in here as well. <laughs> All right, and the, I don't know if it's quite a full size helmet, but it's a larger helmet. And that team is gonna be, can you can you guess by the autograph right there? Wait, who is that? Oh, I know who that is. It's a pirate autograph. It's another one for John Jackson. Not, not Pequeño, Rex. It's 
It's Leover Pigueto. Yeah, Leover Pigueto. Big uh, Pirates prospect, John. I think Dano got close. Rex, did you intend to say Piguero or did, did you really meant Pequeño? Or is this your autocorrect joke? Chris saying who? Yeah, it's a uh, Pirates prospect. We've seen him in some recent Bowman stuff. Oh, you were guessing. I think he's a, he's got to be one of their top prospects, right? <coughs> Maybe not, maybe not like Cabrian Hayes or O'Neill Cruz prospect. Oh, he might be, but I want to see like a, a younger international prospect. So, you know, kind of, kind of hyped when he was signed, but still TBD as he works his way through the minor league systems. He is for sure, says Dano. All right, so we have the standard. We have the the interesting item. Looks like it feels like some sort of slab. The other item, the mini helmet, the larger helmet, the baseball, yes, baseball, and the jersey. All right, this is the last memorabilia box. Good luck. The jersey is this guy. Everyone knows this guy, right? There's all his authentication stickers right there as well. That's Cincinnati version going to Carl. So Dano is saying Leover Peguero, number seven in the Pirates pipeline. Shortstop. Doesn't O'Neill Cruz play shortstop? Maybe one of those guys gets pushed to second base or outfield maybe. Alright, we got a Red Sox. Oh, everyone knows who that is. Everyone knows him. And that's for Brian. Brian with the Red Sox. Boggs, the chicken man, R.I.P. Wade Boggs. It's a very rewatchable, uh, a very rewatchable. It's always Tony in Philadelphia episode with Boggs. Uh, it's trivia. Did you know that Charlie Day is actually a really good baseball player? Did he play at, like at a maybe a junior college level or something like that? At a Division three or two level or something? Next up is an Oakland A's helmet. That's for Dano. There you go, Dan. Finally, right?
There you go. Nice clean autograph. I like the one ear helmet right there as well. I, I, I am the greatest, greatest, greatest of all time, time, time. I feel like a lot of athletes have like, you know, especially after the last dance, I feel like more and more athletes want to have their own like sort of biopic, their own movie, right? Their own biography. Where's the Ricky Henderson one? I feel like, I feel like they should, they should have like a Ricky Henderson You know, Netflix should do like a three or four episode special on Ricky Henderson. I'd watch it. The Ricky Henderson story. <laughs> I don't know if his, I don't know what his secondary market is like. I don't think it's like gangbusters or anything like that. But I think nostalgia wise, everyone's happy to see. A Ricky Henderson. At least I am. I think I think he's a pretty awesome player. All right. Anyone guess this one? Cool black baseball, gold ink auto. I guess his rookie cards still look pretty good. Not Shalen Polanco. Um, I'll give you the team. Uh, the black and gold makes might make you think Pirates. This is actually a Royals player. Which will go to uh, Carl. That's last spot mojo as well. And last item coming up. I didn't realize those Ricky Anderson rookie cards did so well. Yeah, I guess if it's an old rookie card, PSA 10 should be pretty good. Yep, Salvador Perez. No authentication card, but you got a Beckett sticker back there. That's Carl and the Royals in break three. <coughs> and the final item of the break. So this is, the other ones are pretty standard from case to case. We, I'm sensing this pattern here. And now let's see what this is. It's slab, but it seems huge. Maybe a postcard? It is a postcard. Wow, it's a Brooks Robinson autograph postcard. Right, so there's the autograph right there. It's a cool look. It's even numbered. 10,000. The autograph's the important part. That's really awesome. Looks like there's almost like, I don't know, the paper stock. We will, we'll never know until, uh, unless we crack this open. But the paper stock looks like a, like a watercolor paper for you painters out there. More of a textured finish. Nice break for Eugene and the Orioles. So there you go, Eugene, with Baltimore. Congrats to you. You get that Brooks Robinson autograph. Um, really nice stuff out of here. So, and Eugene, you got it with that Jackson Holiday and the Brooks Robinson. Go, go thank. Next oral you see around town, next bird you see around there, give, give him a thank you. All right, I'll see you next time, everybody, for the next one, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye. Oh, no, is there a wax party here? Woo!
I almost stopped the video. There is a wax party invite. James, easy. We still got a wax party chance for you and the, for those of you who did not get anything at all. Still got a chance here. Let's roll it, randomize it four and five, nine times. Name on top after nine gets the wax party invite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, after nine times, name on top is going to be John Jackson. There you go, John. I don't know if I called your name. Uh, well, maybe some of the memorabilia, but whatever. John Jackson. Either way, if it's a good break for you, cherry on top. If it wasn't a good break for you, you got a wax party invite. That's pretty awesome as well. James, we'll get him in the next break. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.